brothers and sisters. For many years, Assam has been my second home. It was my privilege to represent Assam in the Rajya Sabha for 28 years from 1991 to 2019. I am deeply grateful for the trust and affection of the people of Assam and for the friendship of the late Sri Teshwar Saikya and the late Sri Tarun Gogoi. The people of Assam enabled me to serve our country as Finance Minister of India for five years and as Prime Minister of India for ten years. Today, I am speaking as one of you. Once again, the time has come for you to cast your ballot in the Vidhan Sabha election. You must vote wisely. The people of Assam have endured terrible suffering through a long period of insurgency and unrest. Under the leadership of the late Shri Tarun Gogoi from 2001 to 2016, Assam made a new beginning towards peace and development. However, it is now facing very serious setback. Society is being divided on the basis of religion, culture, and language. The basic rights of the common man are being denied. There is an atmosphere of tension and of fear. Ill-conceived, note pandi, and badly implemented the GST have weakened the economy. Lacks of people and women have lost their livelihoods. The youth are desperate for decent jobs. Rise in the prices of petrol, diesel and cooking gas is making life difficult for the armed army. The poor are becoming poorer and COVID-19 is making matters much worse. You must vote for a government that upholds the Constitution of India and the principles of democracy. You must vote for a government that will care for every citizen, for every community. You must vote for a government that will ensure inclusive growth. You must vote for a government that will put us on once again on the path of peace and development. The Assam Congress is committed to protect the unique language, culture, and history of Assam and to ensure the well-being of all communities. It has prepared a Jan Manifesto with promises that are practical. As a measure of its determination, it has also announced five guarantees to the people. One, if elected to power, the Assam Congress will not implement the Citizens' Amendment Act. Also, it will do its utmost to repeal the CAA. Two, five lakhs unemployed youth will be provided jobs in the public sector and 25 lakhs unemployed youth will be provided jobs in the private sector. Three, the daily wage of tea plantation workers will be increased to rupees 365. These workers will also receive other social security benefits. Four, every household will receive up to 200 units of free electricity. Five, under the Grihani Saman scheme, every housewife will receive an allowance of rupees 2,000 per month. Brothers and sisters, 
your future and the future of your children is in your hand. I urge you to vote for the Congress Party and the Mahajan. Jai Hind.